Welcome to Electra Online. A very special type of cyclocarbon chain is what we call the benzene ring. Now, what's unique about this is that, yes, indeed, it has six carbons, just like what we call the cyclohexane. But in this case, it's different because the alternate bonds are double bonds and then the other three are single bonds. So it's a combination of single and double bonds. Now notice that there can be two forms of this molecule. Now you say, well, since there's perfect symmetry, can't we just kind of turn one and make one look like the other? The answer is yes, you could do that. So visually they look exactly the same, but it's possible that you have this molecule that it could potentially change to this molecule by simply taking the double bond from here, move it to there, from there, move it to there, from here, move it to there, and then you end up with this form of the molecule. So even though visually they look exactly the same, there's still a difference between them and you can have a chemical reaction going from one to the other. Now, to simplify the structure of that in, you know, when you want to write down what it looks like, because this takes a lot of work, of course, you can simplify the benzene ring symbol by making it look like this. And so here you indicate that there's six carbons and that this indicates that it's an alternate single to double bond. And that's why we use the dotted line. However, we can also use this symbol here. Again, you have the six points here that each one represents a carbon, and then you can see that there's an alternate single to double bond. So it's a simplistic form of writing or, or making a symbol for the benzene ring. Now, these are more of the older type symbols. We also use this symbol here and say, well, why do we use this symbol, not this symbol? Well, it's easier to draw it like that. It's quicker. And we can just assume that since we're dealing with benzene ring, that it's known that there's alternate single and double bond. So that's perfectly fine to go ahead and use this. And that's the more commonly formed, simplified form of a simple benzene ring. Now, of course, we can replace these hydrogens with other groups. And when we do that, we'll see some other types of benzene uh, ring molecules and there's a bunch of them and we'll take a look at some of these specific ones so you can see that how that's kind of a basic uh, startup of a whole set of different uh, molecules that use the benzene ring as a starting point so stay tuned and we'll show you some examples of that as well